morning guys gonna be doing something very simple today what anyone can do without a fish finder and just frozen bait from the servo fish and swansea channel we just got prawns and pilchards and we're going to target leather jacket and trevally today both good eating fish both i like and both i think are underrated uh, people just don't know how to prepare them and stuff but anyway let's try and catch some fish we could get salmon turn up today or anything so i've got a couple of setups anyway squid jigs but we'll try for leather jacket first nice calm conditions out going tide let's see if we can get a few leather jacket otherwise we might swap to trevally you never know might be straight on here all right let's rip in got the old frozen prawns nice and easy the rig we're using is just a Pananoska rig with little, uh, I think they're size 4 long shanks and just the weight there. We're just going to put half a prawn, half a peeled prawn on each. Alright, that's it. Half a peeled prawn on each, just tiny baits. So you turn your jackets around. Ooh, maybe a leather jacket? Maybe a leather jacket, I don't know. No, grass. But that, that means we're in the right area. Get what they call these speckled, speckled grass or something. But you will get these in the areas you get the leather jackets. Some people don't mind eating them actually. Straight on them. They're thick down there at the moment. Very thick. Wow. You had a fish tank. Imagine popping that guy in there. Check out the colours on that. Yeah, you had a fish tank. Wow. Out here off Swansea Head and dropping a few cubes down to try and get some trally would be nice. <laughs> and that's not what we're after. We're not after him. He would cause us all sorts of problems if we get spiked. So we we really don't want him. 
Get rid of them. Drop another bait down. It's been a long time since I've been outside off the head, so it's good to get out here. Something different. Always good to mix it up and keep the variety coming. On the floater here, I'm on the jacket. Doesn't feel too bad. Oh, I got bitten off before, snapped off, so. Doesn't feel too bad actually. Yeah, what do I got here? It's rally maybe? This tail kicks it a bit funny. Oh, a little bonito. A bloody winter. I didn't know you got bonito in winter. Bloody hell. A bonito in winter time. Well, seen it all. Seen it all now. Bloody August. It's a bonito. Well, I'll keep him for bait. Good bait. Done on this again. Him. Feels okay. Right, actually. Might be a snapper this one. On the floater again. Got this bloody one going out. Starting to happen. Kingfish. I love coming out this once he heads, you can always get a good variety. You never know what you're gonna get. There we go, beautiful kingfish. Just a little fella. It just goes to show you can get anything out here on these floaters. Tiny little kingy, but good fun. A light line. I'm only using eight pound line. It's a great fun. All right, let's let him go. I think I got a Trevally, which is what I'm, which I'd like a couple of for sushi and eating fresh. I love the Trevally. A lot of people don't like them, but I think they're very underrated fish. I really do. It's 
cope for a trevally here. They've got very soft mouths, so you've got to take it easy on them. Trevally, yep. Bloody beauty and a yellow tail. There you go. They've got to be 30 centimetres trevally, so we'll have a little look see at the size. He's about 29 centimetres, just under, he's probably 30 actually, but we'll let him go. I feel we can do better. Oh, oh, come on again. Ooh, snappery. Uh, yep, they are one gorgeous fish, these are. Absolutely gorgeous they are. Wouldn't want to eat one. Look too nice. Ooh. Wait. Wait indeed. Every bait is a decent fish on their long shank hooks, little pilchy kids. Big Sergeant Baker. Jeez, that's a big one. That is a big one. Oh, he just bit me off. He was huge, that Baker. Rally again. Uh, Taylor. Decent bloody Taylor. Oh well, I'll keep him because I don't have anything at the moment, so I want to take a fish feed a fish home. Fish after fish, as soon as you hit the bottom and you're on down here. <laughs> Another beautiful grass species. The variety you get when you're using small baits and long shank hooks, you get a lot of variety. variety you never bloody know what you're gonna get and we got another trevally another trevally let's check that size he's getting close to that 30 centimeters another one what's right on 30 you wouldn't read about it i'll let him go Dude. Here we are, gloomy looking afternoon on a Sunday. I tried to get some Trevallian leather jacket yesterday and failed. I mean, I caught some, but hardly worth a feed bit small so i'm trying to get a feed today because i didn't get my feed of fish very disappointing 
all sorts of lures I've got today. I've got some hard bodies, three hard bodies, and one soft one. We'll give them a crack. I'll show, give you a look at them as well. But hopefully it's a bit nasty out here. It's rainy, it's windy. Some of these lures may be a bit light to get down while we're drifting, so we'll just see how we go. Hopefully I can get a couple of fish for dinner. It'll be nice. That's what I'm after. All right, let's rip in. Got quite a variety of lures today. This little one's a 60 mil jackal, hard body. I've also got a Samaki hard body in a 95 mil. And I've got a couple of different ones. I'll flash them up actually. Now the big glide bait will probably be a bit light to use in the deeper waters and the windy areas. So we'll just have to see how we go. Big one seems a bit. Oh, what do we got here? Nice brim. Nice brim, bow. enough of that one might try this big glide bait out wow it looks good we'll see how it swims in the water hopefully it swims as good as it looks mm, doesn't sink very quickly it swims really well but doesn't sink very quickly got one here Way, they're a bit flatty. Not too sure, actually. Yeah, nice flathead. Nice flatty. Nice big girl, actually. Yeah, nice big girl. centimeters what a beautiful big fish I love them when they get up this big you just feel that heavy weight on your line and yeah good fight all right let's let it go come here Gil <laughs> she's firing firing to get back Oh, a flathead. 
hooked up on the way in. He's going to throw this hook here. Oh, I just got him in. I just got him in. Jesus, some bait fish around this area at the moment. Suddenly he's blowing into this cove here and the bait fish are just hanging in here, which in turn is bringing the fish in. I might actually keep that one for dinner. It's perfect eating size, so I think I'll deal with him for dinner. Flathead tangled in the tail and the, the mouth. Look at that. I don't know how he's managed that, but there we go. Beautiful eater. Good eating size. These flatties are just coming in from this corner, one after another. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I dropped him. Here we have it: two flathead and a squid. Just forty centimeter flathead, I suppose, forty-five. And we've just got enough water in there to cover the flathead up. We're going to add the squid later because that won't take long to cook. And we are going to make a luxa. Plenty of flavour. And those two fish will feed a family. They really will. So it's good to take a couple of fish home now and then. And you, especially the recession we're sort of going through at the moment. Everything's so expensive. If you can utilise a couple of meals a week, it saves a lot of money. And you can feed the family really cheap. It makes fishing worthwhile, it really does. Anyway, we'll bring the, chuck the flathead in the water and boil it up. And we're going to cook it to it's, all the flesh is just falling away from the bones. And then we'll take the bones out and we'll leave the fish in there with all the flavour. And then we'll start building on that. You just want the water just enough to cover the fish. So it gives you plenty of stock flavour. You know it's fresh when the colours are still flickering. And there we have the squid there. So I apologise, I thought I was filming but I actually wasn't. But all I did was take the wings off the squid and then the skin comes off really easy. I chopped the eye off the squid and just kept the tentacles and chopped them into small pieces. And then I cro uh, opened the squid up and crossed it in a scour, kind of like a mango pattern. That you go one way and then back the other. And what that enables is when it cooks, it'll be like the Chinese restaurants. It'll all curl up and leave those little segments nicely. But we'll add that right at the end so it's nice and tender in the soup. looks just about ready we'll see how the meat's gonna pull off here's the beautiful fresh ingredients we're going to be using we've got onion tomato carrot lemongrass coriander and parsley now you can add whatever flavors you like to it I don't generally run by a recipe book. I flavour it accordingly to how I feel at the time. We've got one lemon to add to it as well. And we've also got some vermicelli noodles to add to it. And we've got some luxa paste, chilli bean oil and some chilli as well. But first in, we're going the onion. Onion and tomato and lemongrass. And that's going to flavour that up absolutely beautifully. Now I like tomato, that's why I'm adding tomato to mine. If you like mushrooms, add mushrooms. You can flavour it however you like. Okay, got a bit of luxa paste here. We're going to add 
I've got a fair bit of other stuff to add to it, so we're going to just add four teaspoons of that. Flavour is our friend. Really is. Really excited dish and make or break it. Now one of the good things to use is this black bean and chilli oil. It's got a lot of flavour to it and a lot of depth. And it's good to add to a lot of dishes. So just one teaspoon of that in there. So you might add another one. Two teaspoon, two teaspoons of black bean and chili oil. Fresh bit of ginger in the jar. I'm just going to go a teaspoon of that. And then we're going to go some garlic. Now, a lot of this isn't textbook luxa, but I tell you what, the more flavour you add, as long as it's healthy, good stuff for you, the more flavour you add, be absolutely beautiful. Now, for those who like a bit of kick, we're going to go a bit of crushed chilli in here. Where are we going to go? About a teaspoon. I don't mind my chilli in there. Then we've also got some sliced jalapenos. And I've just diced them up. And these have a good depth to the soup. They've got a bit of an acidy sort of flavour to them. Right, that's it for flavour. So we're going to let that cook. All the onion we're going to let cook down. Let that lemongrass cook through. Tomato to cook down. And then we're going to add the final ingredients. The carrot, the coriander, the parsley and the squid. Gonna have a little taste soon, but because the smell of this kitchen at the moment is unbelievable. Really smells good. Haven't even got those flavours cooked in yet. Once this all cooks together, it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful, consistent soup. Tomato kind of thickens it with the onion, and it just adds like a glissery kind of soup. You know, we'll have a little taste. It's not even ready yet. And I can already tell that is going to be beautiful. I've still got a lemon to put in it as well. So as you can see, it's a lot of flavour. And it's just a lot of excitement in the dish. It really is. It's just really nice dish in winter. Really warms you up and it's really good for you. It really is. All right, we'll let that cook down. All right, this should be... Whoa. Should be just about ready. As you can see, the tomato and onions all cooked, cooked through totally. It's all starting to blend together. It just turn into a beautiful flavour. All right, now we're going to carrot, the coriander and parsley, the squid, and the vermicelli noodles. You can see it's a very fresh bright dish, lots of colour and a little trick, a little secret here add a creamy depth to it it's just add a bit of butter to it it's got to be real butter, 100% pure butter and it adds, just adds that creaminess to the soup Lemon, it just freshens it right off. Adds another depth to the whole dish again. All right, now we're gonna have a little taste. 
pretty much all those herbs, carrot, the carrot's very finely diced so it cooks straight away. That squid's going to instantly cook pretty much. Let's take the taste. Wow, that is so good. So much flavour to that. You can see the colours just coming out of that carrot and everything. That squid's going to be beautiful. See that curling up nicely. You can see where I scoured it. Just a pattern on it there. The more it cooks, the more it'll curl. See that squid pattern there? It's beautiful. I tell you what, if you've had smell of vision the house smells absolutely beautiful. And I've just got myself a bit of garlic bread to go with it. I'm just going to have a taste first. Wow. Mmm. So much flavour to that, it's unbelievable. It's so good for you, and that's two flat and they'll serve like six people. Six good sized meals, really big serves, <clears throat> and um, really, yeah, really good for you. You pay big money for that at the shops. So get into it, fresh, good for you, good colours. Wow, that's so crusty. Dip in that. A little bit of butter, butter just thickened it up nicely. And yeah, perfect meal for a winter's night, even in summer. All right, guys, I will have those scents on my, by the end of the week too on the website. Sorry to you guys who have been waiting for that. I'll definitely have them on the um, website by the end of the week. All right, guys, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing, and I'll see you on the water. Catches.